So, okay, coming around. It's currently 5.33, 19 degrees external temperature, 23 degrees internal temperature. You're doing really well. Temperature's coming down, it was 38.3, it's now down to 37.7. Okay, left side tremors from radial, more of a separate dystonic. This is very focal seizure orientation. Sorry. Oxygen starts from 98, heart rate 71 and dropping. Okay, let's come back up with the temperature. I don't want to shock it totally. Okay. Preserving airway. Current time 534. Right. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> it's okay. I get you. <laughs> Bit an internal cheek, <laughs> left hand side. It's all right. Now we normally don't get um, a bite protrusions during seizures, but we did in this. It is more significant tonic chronic seizure sets. Okay, seizures stabilised on neck brace. You. Gotta wait till you've finished. I don't think you're over yet. Oxygen starts at 95, heart rate is 65. That's going to be very sore. That's all right, you've right. been very hot. And I've just got to bring your temperature down. It's probably contributing to this. Oxygen starts from 95, heart rate 72. Very sore. So Diane has bitten her cheek during the segmented cranial dystonia of that seizure. But there was a lot of massive muscle <laughs> movement of fibrillation, plus bruxes and grinding of the teeth, as well as buffeted with the eyes. Anti nausea, no problem. You have had one, have you? Okay. Right. Okay. Prior to this, let's get some background so we know where things are at. I'm keeping an eye on you as we do this. Yeah, we'll see. That's okay. I don't think I've got all of them. All right, so I've come in late because I was on a phone call in the other room. You weren't able to contact me. It was too quick. It was too quick on set. Okay, no problems. Just proud of that by 10 minutes. Good girl, Jazz. Okay, relax, you're recovering. 10 minutes prior to that, nitrolingual GTN spray provided. Don't had a cardiac um, event, doubled over, needed to sit down to try and recover from that. Nitrolingual spray, single yeah, dosage. Worked. Then you've taken an anti nausea, so on a danzatron, four milligrams because you've finished the nausea. 
on the camera. Yes, it's on the seizure camera, sweetie. I've got it up. So we have the same E3. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm having to take a separate phone call because I'm trying to keep. I've gone to the other room with the door closed because I'm needing to speak to the hospital specialist in regards to the anaesthetist for a procedure. It's all right. Okay, so you had a focal seizure inability to speak. All right, no problems. All right, now that you've got the ability at the moment, I need to give you some medications straight up. Do you think you'll be able to swallow for me? Yeah. All right, I'm going to bring your bed up. Let's have a look at what I want to give you at the moment. I'm going to give you that, and I want to give you that. The cold is coming off. Oh, my back, my back, my back. Okay, the bed is coming up. I'm going to do that one separate. Wait, I'm going to give you some more medication. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I haven't had to apply emergency medication, so midazolam has not been applied. I'm now giving you four sets of tablets, which I want you to take, and then I'm going to give you some medicinal. So, pain. Gabapentin, Panadol Osteo, Seizure, I'm giving you Clonazepam, mm. Sodium Valparate, we're bringing the levels up, and I'm going to give you some medicinal cannabis, 0.5 ml, 10-10 combination, two at a time only. Don't try and stuff it all in, you don't need a lot of drink to get that down. Keep going. Right, clear check. Right, clear. Well done, you. Checking. Oxygen starts 97, heart rate 61. I'm going to have to take a second here and every blood, um, blood pressure. Your yeah. blood pressure previously was very high. I don't need that. Yeah, you're taking that. Keep that in your mouth for me. Good girl. Still here. Right hand. Ticking action. Previous blood pressure was 127 over 75. Now remember, Diane's baseline should be 90 over 60 or lower than that. Heart rate at the time of taking during the seizures was 77. So we had an elevated blood pressure. We're just now going to take a secondary follow-up reading. Now that the tonic clonic sets have concluded. And then we're going to give you some background to the situation so that we've got that recorded for the clinical team. Put it on the camera. Yep. Patch that all together. Oh my Sit nice and quietly while you're doing that. Shh, shh, shh. Open up the mouth for me. Okay, you're fine. Yeah, it's just a double fight. That side, it'll heal. Let's keep it clear. I know, you beat it really well. Now, biting during seizures doesn't always occur, you know, particularly if we can keep her centralised and early interventions of ASM, anti-seizure medication. Yeah. All right, blood pressure has come down. Great. That was a bit quick. So, secondary blood pressure reading, 105 over 74. Still elevated more than I wanted. Heart rate was 71, but we're on the way down. That's the men in black torch. If I shine it in your eyes, you're going to forget everything. The aliens did not take you. I'm going to show you. That's a good idea. <laughs> you too, don't we? Okay, thank you for that. Yeah, I think it's over. Let's just have a conversation with the camera so we know what's actually going on and why this actually occurred. So, current time is 5.43 p.m. It is Friday, kiss you mate, 25th of October. <sighs> so, there was a high probability we were in like a DEFCON 4 level 
um, scale of high probability of risk of seizure for today. Now, mm. preictal wise, well, okay, key reasons why. First of all, sleep disturbances. Sleep is always a big factor for dying for anything neurological. Now, she went to sleep last night at 7, 7 p.m. and awoke at 4 a.m. this morning. Now, that was a good sleep. It was a solid sleep. It's a catch-up sleep, heavy sleep, but it's an irregular routine sleep. So she was up early this morning. We're not getting consistent patterns. The circadian rhythm's not in balance. There's been a lot of disruptions in the sleep. Headache and pain. A lot of migraines this week. More than the normal set. That's you have and you had risotriptine wafer which we use for those additional uses of other medications okay thermodysregulation difficult you've been running fibril so that was a 38.3 reading 37.5 is when and above is when we start seeing a fever record i only really get concerned when we're in that 38 range 38.3 concern. Hence why I've obviously given Panadol Osteo to bring the temperature down and I've also used the aircon to try and cool her down during that period and that phase straight away as well. You're doing tonic clonic seizures. Unusual pattern for you is you're also rolling to your right side as well as your left side. You only ever normally roll the left hand side no, rotation. So cool. I was facing this way. Right. So for some reason because we're doing reverse I was pattern. Scared that I was okay. Okay, so self-conscious action to avoid falling out of bed. So well done, you. So that's really vocal, good. I, Oxygen set to 98, heart rate 62. I just took my genoids and I was like, nah. Sure. What we'll do is we'll and review. And I, yeah. I, I just kind of twisted facing there. Okay. okay. And no then problem. it just happened. No problem. I couldn't move. That's okay. You can't move. I couldn't move and you can't, you can't communicate in a focal. In a focal aware seizure, you're aware that you're having it, but it's like a lock in. You cannot communicate externally. You certainly can't call out for help, and there's no mechanism. Now, unfortunately, I had just had a phone call come in before this, and because the. The hospital should be ringing late. I want you to calm down while on the video at the moment, so we just relax, please. Shouldn't be. We've had a call, unfortunately, which is non-scheduled call. It's disruptive to our pattern. It also took me away from Dine as a patient, where I needed to be visible eyes on. But I also we've had two calls from the hospital. Um, I have had to deal with that in a separate room, which means I don't have eyes on and I couldn't hear because I needed to focus and concentrate on the um, anaesthetic specialist for a pre-operation procedure. So anyway, that conversation went okay, did all that, but as soon as I've come back, I'm thinking, look, there's a high risk of actually having a seizure. I was actually bringing back the tripod because I'm thinking, you know what, there's a high risk of a seizure. What? Yeah. You're <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not trying to put the heebie-jeebies on you, you but the, re but the realities are, happen. like you I said, about it. <laughs> it doesn't work that we don't manifest these bloody things. We look at it in a scale of what are the triggers, what is what's in the preictal stages that may occur. Like I said, you're at a DEFCON three four level, high probability of something happening. I was bringing the tripod back because I'm thinking maybe around about six o'clock, seven o'clock tonight, all likelihood. You've had some head pain. You've been travelling today, and we've seen with that high Tourette. So whilst we've been travelling, there's been no control over the Tourette's vocal stim Tourette's as well as physical tics that we've been going on as well. You've had several episodes of those. Now, they haven't gone into full-blown extended version episodes, but with coprolalia and the vocal tics, it's been bad, bad for you today. So, two again, days two days. days at least now. So, this is a neurological symptom as part of that. Sleep disturbances, like I said, you indicated that you wanted to have an early sleep tonight. That tells me, hey, she doesn't ever want to have a sleep. So, for her to say that, we know that she's physically tired. I'm tired. Okay, she's been complaining that she's physically tired. So, that's the draining physical part. We've had bowel medications from the GI tract, gastroparesis side of things this week as well, particularly over the last couple of days. That brings on board a change in the electrolyte balance, the fluid balance, and because of that, we've got higher likelihood of things actually going on. Mood change has been coming in as well. Increased irritability, frustration, okay, and triggers around that. That ties a bit into the Tourette's and the inability to control yourself during that phase. Not your fault, it's just simply indicators of cognitive things that are happening for you, okay? And I listen to music. You listen to music for when loudly. When we were coming home. Ah, uh, how did that go for you? Well, it might have triggered. It might have triggered, so it, it was. Okay, Diane was trying to self-regulate from an autistic meltdown side of things. Great skill and strategy to use as part of the toolbox, 
but autistic meltdowns for dive are also part of the cognitive profile pre-ictal to if we're going into meltdown we're also highly likely to go into full-blown seizures yeah. for rhythmical music and this is why i was trying to turn the music down in the car she was unhappy with me um, michael jackson love the song thriller love it very strong Bowie. rhythmical yeah however with that rhythmical we have more onset just like flashing lights rhythmical music can also be contributed as pre stage to seizures so you've had nausea obviously just beforehand yeah, I pansy on dancer trauma yeah, you had the heart and then i laid down did you need to go to the toilet at all no, urgently no, no. Laid down. needing to urinate or urinating during a seizure is also a fallacy it's only about 37 it's no. 39%. So 61% of patients never urinate I felt funny wet themselves during a seizure. When I was staging anti nausea. Right. And so I thought, hmm, mm. I don't really I'll know. I'll go get Matt and tell him that I'm feeling funny. No, I had to lay down quickly and yeah. then it was bang. That's I was okay. frozen. I'm not blaming on you. I, I wish thought, we had eyes on. Yeah. And I was making noise, but I thought you weren't going to be long. Cause oh, we I was hoping not to be long. But I'm having to talk high medical complications call it this time of night you see i wasn't you weren't prepared for it i know we weren't no. expecting it and this is also the period of time when we don't have things scheduled because this is the twilight phase the worst part it of time should be. and i call it the twilight phase also and this is the other aspect of this is we have cycles of medication for dying and the evening cycle for nighttime medication starts at 6 15. good the first of the year one's really happy to see that already coming through having to see everything starting to relax Yawns are a key indicator for me. I normally we'll have two or three. Yes, you may now. Now that we've finished doing silly things. Uh, I also don't normally put Diane into a recovery position during seizures because of the um, dislocation, full dislocation risk. Excuse me for a moment, Diane. Due for the full dislocation risk because she's got hypermobility, erlos downlos, part of the 22Q11.2 deletion syndrome. Things can pop out. She's also got a CCI, cranial cervical instability of the neck. So I'm very conscious of sustaining the neck in a good position during seizures so that she doesn't do any more damage to the impingement to the actual nerve cord. Okay, so obviously there's a lot of things to manage. However, because she was in a position where I feel like she was aspirating and likely to choke, keeping an eye on her oxygen saturation, so that's why I put her into a left recovery position Sorry, just so that I could clear the airway. Sorry, was really stressy. Okay. She was going off. Right. Trying to get your attention. Good too. girl, Jazzy. I appreciate she's that. Very good. Good. Useless. <laughs> the cat over there. He's resting. Well, does it look <laughs> it's not disturbed, very good. does he? <coughs> well, he certainly didn't oh, come to get me. I look like a mess. Mm, oh my goodness. It's okay. Let's have a quick look at that. So a lot of these things that we've seen today, like I said, thank you, are the triggers that are precursors to having a seizure. <laughs> We are at the higher rating of a risk, and we were expecting, like I said, that's why I'm bringing the tripod back in. I was expecting. I was thinking the other day how wonderful it was. It's been a big gap. Hasn't been that much of a gap. Hasn't it? Less than a week. Has it been more? My God, I wish. Time flies when you're having fun. Don has had you some absence seizures twitch. during things. You've still got twitchy eyes, so that's blepharism. So part of dystonia is blepharism, where you'll get twitchy, That's flattering true. of the eyes. Eyes will stay open in a, or locked in a fixed position, muscle contracture. You've had obviously That's bruxism, annoying. where you're grinding your teeth. You were doing this fibrillation around the joint. How has your ten, trans medibular joint, TMJ joints, feeling at the moment? Teeth aligned, okay? Good girl. So very easy for her to sublux, particularly when she's having segmented cranial dystonia where the muscles are doing this action and causing all of this action on I mean, the jaw. The bottom jaw's forward at the time. I can see with your teeth alignment. Look at the teeth alignment to give me a good indication the of where things are. Slide. Did you have any post major headache at all after yeah. that seizure? Where yeah, were you feeling that? When I was washing my hands. Alright, just prior to the seizure. However, the spray can give me nitro lingual spray will give you bad headaches. But That's it a GTN, it's a vascular gone because yeah. it was the time wise it shouldn't have been. Okay, so it dissipates so quickly. Yep. It came back when I was washing my hands. Right. Um because we did the the plant and I washed my hands yep. to make sure they were clean. Very good from doing a bit of gardening, great. Yeah. So we actually got a plant, an aloe vera plant. Hence why Don's wearing the band-aid on her face, by the way, because she got a bit of a sore cut there. She was just applying some topical aloe vera as a good natural it's alternative good. medication. I think it was Chinese medication as far as that and goes. And I've got a cute pot. Yeah, and you've got no, your Gabby, Gabby's dollhouse band-aid yeah. on that. 
having a close look just to look at the evidence. Yes, she is wearing a Gabby's Dolls House Don't band-aid. Don't pick on me because it's cool. <laughs> it's All the cool, cool kids All the cool kids wear it. that. Exactly. You're just jealous. No, but like yeah. I was washing my hands and I felt like intense, no, intense pain on this whole okay. top part. Okay, dripping past scalp. Oh, no worries. I All thought right. it was the so night had... lingual spray. So Severe I didn't... headache. No, but I didn't think... Nausea. I didn't think anything of it, Matt, because okay. I have the natural lingual spray. Fatigue. I often get a temporary headache afterwards for only five minutes. Correct. And you then I realised mm -hmm. it's been way longer than five minutes. Right, I'm going to check your blood pressure now too. And I took the anti nausea because I felt a sudden nausea. Yep. And then I thought, no, I haven't skipped a snack. No. And so I shouldn't be empty tummy. And I was so confused. And yep. then bang. And bang, there she went. And I was frozen and I couldn't move. It's okay. That's really scary. I know. Being locked in and not being able to talk. And if I walked towards you, I couldn't Yeah. Move. Funny thing is, it was the exact same conversation I was actually having with the anaesthetist, the specialist who does all the um, breathing preparations for a operation, having the exact same conversation at the same time as Diana's actually having this. So frustrating. Now, we do have the Sammy 3 camera. That's this one here, which is a seizure oh, yeah. detection camera. Um, I turned it on before I went out, just in case, for that very reason, so that I've got eyes on for Diane and obviously being able to record the data for the clinical team in case an issue occurs. You should be not talking while I'm doing blood pressure. Right, didn't need to use the ASM, so I do have midazolam and I also have um, Valium in case I need it in a liquid format, so I didn't use the midazolam as an emergency so med, luckily, but we're very close. Sir? Yes, darling. All of it will be on the camera. Yes, it will be. It's all going to yeah, be there. You can see it, but I've hurt the muscles around here. Okay, so right deltoid coming into pectoralis major. Mm -hmm. Deltoid is a shoulder cluster muscle here. It feels like Pectoral this one. Coming from here. Okay. The one that wraps around here. Yep, no worries. Okay, so we've got a reduced blood pressure. So 94 over 59, heart rate back to 59. This is what I'd call the normal baseline. So this is why we have an understanding where baseline is at. We can see then during a seizure where she went up to, what was it? Let's have a look. Five, 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 five. What are you five, five, fiving? It's three, five. Sorry, did I say four? I don't know, banking numbers. Okay, I'm just having a look at the other, other reading. So the previous one I did was 105 over 74. During the seizure, it was 127 over 75. So you can see the progression of the blood pressure um, during these exercises. And, and why we have this device and why we also record them so we can actually measure heart rate, blood pressure changes and other symptoms. I'm going up as well while you do that, by the way. Sorry, but I need to see my girl because she was stressed, Matt. Right. She actually is very clever. Budgies are impressive. They are impressive. Let's she have a quick say hello to the budgies. Me down and to well me. done, Jasmine. I love you, Jasmine. Thank you, Christoph, Christoph for keeping an chill. eye on them. Christoph always chill. I think that's all Christoph ever actually Christoph does. He's, he's just, just a, a chill he's bird. A, he's a, we'll work on him as a seizure detection he, bird. Yeah, he's a quiet boy. As for my seizure detection cat, he's I'm going to put your, C, uh, your neck trace on. So soft cervical C collar. Can we get a seizure dog? Do you want to sit dog? up for me? One, two, three. I want a seizure dog now because I don't want to be alone having them. Okay, go back again. Um, look, I would love Diane to have a seizure detection dog and support dog or assistance animal Do you during that. Like One to obviously detect early indications of a seizure so you can tell her. Diane's got autism, okay? With interception, she doesn't you. know her internal states and it makes it very difficult, has always made it very difficult for her to know the preemptive signs of when a seizure won't come on. Every second, every minute counts because it means I can give ASM medications, I can make sure she's in a safe position, she's not going to be a false risk where she can hit herself on the head fall to the ground and do damage. That's right. During a seizure, if I was not here, a seizure protection dog may put themselves in between dangerous items like this or might put they them underneath their head. You, they, they might lie on you to keep you compressed if you need the pressure. So it depends on where you're at. If you're having a seizure and you're banging your head, they'll position their body underneath the head to stop you banging and hitting your head. So They could even bring medicine. They can bring medications or they can also be trained to go get Matt while he's on a phone call yes. to the stupid hospital. But anyway, that's another story which we'll talk about on another time. So, I'm okay now. you are okay now, which is really good. Auction stats are at 98. I'm really happy with that. Heart rate wow, is at 62. For me, that's good. That is very good for you, isn't Impressive. it? Impressive. So, do you understand now when you look reflectively back at your triggers no. for your seizure? 
where things are at. No. Okay. Because. No. Could you tell I mean, today, for example, that you're going to have a seizure? No. Okay. I only felt with the nauseous, like right. suspicious, because I was like, I know I've eaten. And remember, Don's well. had hundreds. It's probably 700 now. Time I know. Seizures over well over 13 years. Yeah. I know I've eaten well today, so I knew You've that it was well. suspicious that I was nauseated, and mm -hmm. that was last minute. Yep. You'll probably see on the cam. Can you see that that area on the camera? Mm, what do you mean by that? Sorry. Where I get my anti nausea from? Yes, you are. Yeah, to see well, that. you'll be able to see that. Yep. That. It's fuzzy. Let's have a look. Okay, so I've just actually brought up the Sammy cam on the iPad, which I have by my bed, which enables me to actually see things. So I looked at the last video recorder and I've just brought it down. You can see that I'm actually located here to the side. This is when the phone call is actually coming in from the hospital. So right here, as I'm helping Don, I hear the phone. I've actually gone to this side to go and get the phone. And I'm leaving the room straight away. So this is at 17.17, so 5.17. Now, as I'm stepping out to actually take the call in the other room, and I'm just quickly just um, scrubbing this slightly to the side, you'll see the time change. Literally, within the minute, 5.18, so it's within that minute, Diane goes to the eyes with her hand. So both hands, so the hand's over the eyeballs. She's then pulling her bed down in that position. So she's actually going, okay, I don't feel good. I'm actually moving down. This is less than a minute after the calls come in. So classic timing. She's reaching over at 5, 18 and 23 seconds to get on Danzatron. This is where we keep the on Danzatron beside her actual bed. So she's actually now trying to get the on Danzatron open. Now, this is very difficult at the best of times. Cultivately, if she's a little bit out of it, she's going to be struggling just to peel the wafer open to be able to get this dissolvable sublingual medication into her mouth. So she's getting up to go where scissors are kept. So we've got scissors kept just over here. So she's got out of bed to get the scissors, cutting those so that she can get it into her mouth. And she's actually now putting it so at 7, 519. She's still struggling with the damn medication. Medication needs to be a lot easier. And she's put it in her mouth and she sits down. But as soon as she sits down, you can see that she's exhausted in the face. The eyes are closing. So I'm just going to come back to this. As she's coming down, the eyes are already closing. She's going into a seizure at this point in time. So this will be both hands are to the head. So she's feeling intense head pain. This is at 5.19. I've literally only left the room probably about a minute, minute and a half ago. And we're already getting into this position. And she's starting to roll to her right hand side. All right, so let's come back into the recordings. That was the 514 recording. If I go to the 519 recording, it's a very short one. Here we pick up, she's actually rolling over to her right hand side already. So she's going into the first of the seizures. She never rolls to the right, she'll always be on her back. So she's feeling a bit uncomfortable. She's obviously distressed in the face. She doesn't know how to communicate this. She's just grinning and bearing with the pain as this particular video runs through. She's trying to interact with the actual camera, so she's obviously trying to do her editing on YouTube. This is at 5.20 p.m. All of these things are captured. We can see the preemptive behaviors. Now, if I come into the next one, and I'll bring this one down and download it. So as you're listening, what do you actually think about this already? Yeah, it's weird. Can you imagine that? Yeah. It's literally a minute of me leaving. You're I hearing the call. It, I've picked up the I phone. I've stepped out. Quick. Less than a minute. So time, having an unawareness of time, Okay, time and space continuum can't you can't have that you just don't have that and, as it and, goes along this is I just downloading by the way long time to open the anti on Dunn's trunk it did it took like, you over about a minute and a half to actually get that I finally it was open than that. no so it took you quite a long time and when you come back to bed your eyes were already closing so here we're on to the I next video it, and this is at 5 20 so i can again scrub as we go along the cat's come in he's been very helpful so she's on the trying to do her thing so she's yeah, been for about a minute she's been trying to work on the phone doing her editing and here i can see her eyes are closing she's awkward with her hand to the neck her hands here are just fumbling around she's having another seizure she's having her second seizure at this point in time you've got the motion of the left hand now she's coming out again so she's going in and out of these different seizures you've got the right hand the doing its little thing Yep, the birds are communicating. You can see her starting to get into a bit of a roll position. She's feeling hot, scratching the side. She's almost like she's talking to herself, but it's not talking. These are motor Sorry, movements of the it. actual mouth. So you, you've got bruxism, you've got dystonia in the face. Your hands are doing these different things. You've got this reaching out motion of the hand. 
Well, okay, so that's the next one. Okay, so look, this is really, really useful for us to actually see what's actually going on. I'll bring the next one down. Multiple seizures already. So you're having, at this point in time, an in inability him. to communicate. You've got focal aware seizures starting to but happen. You can hear me groaning you got ticks. if you put mm -hmm. the volume on. You can hear the birds yep. going off. Absolutely. So you've got that going on as well. The birds trying to obviously the communicate to you. trying to communicate to you and me. Right. I well, think she was trying to communicate to you and me. Well, I wish she's I could have very heard. Clever. Yeah, she's very clever, which is a great thing. Like, I wish the camera was facing her because she was like really yeah. like vocal. I'm just bringing this other one down as we go. It's, unfortunately, you've got to bring one she down from the tell. machine. The actual box that we use, the Semi 3 camera, which is a camera back over here, does have a little micro SD card in it. And you can transfer that to a laptop and bring all of the days worth of data down. Here with the iPad, I can see it in real time mode, see what's actually going I'm on. Glad you had the camera on. I, I, yeah, I thought a seizure was going to be down. happening this evening. So, like I said, so we can come back to here just to have a look at where things are at. So, I just make sure this is tight so it doesn't actually fall down. So, at this point in time, you're in another seizure. So, this is your third seizure set. You can see the different hand positions, the eyes are just straight up. It's almost like you're doing the the cha cha or some sort of Latin dancing with your hands. So you've got some sort of dystonic position of your left hand that's coming across. Not feeling good. Let me just keep scrubbing through this. So all this is happening. You're you're trying with your hands. See so see oh, how the hand movement. That's me you're trying to reach bird. to try and get some of the bird. Okay. I'm calming it down. Right. So you're coming the bird down whilst you're cognitively not really out of it. So that's the I third know. seizure set. You're just groggy. You're doing the motoring of the leg. You can see the leg action that's happening here as well. And another tonic-clonic seizure. So you're going in and out of tonic-clonic seizures at this stage. Uh, and you don't normally roll to that right-hand side. Here's when I've come in. So it's 5.26. So I only left you at 5.17. Okay. So I was about nine minutes on the phone. So it wasn't wow. that long. But in that time, you've already had three seizure sets yeah. going through and the build up around one of us. So it moved very, very rapidly. We're very lucky, and that's where we'll pick up from there. Uh, we're very lucky that we didn't obviously have her go totally into a roll, face down, smothering. And, you know, she could be full suffocating at that point in time. She could be vomiting. She'd be choking on her vomit and aspirating through that. Could be having a heart it. cardiac event where her heart rate, because of tonic clonics, can accelerate up to an over 200 beats per minute. I was drooling. All of this shit happens, okay? So, oh, so frustrating. I'm so sorry that I wasn't there in it. We had high predictability. You've got medication next to you, which is why we keep that on board, which is the I'm reason so of all that. I'm struggling to open it. Yeah. And this is also why we don't have long extension periods. It's not me going down and going to get takeaway or going down to the shops and leaving her alone. This yes. is a high vulnerable position. And I wouldn't have left her except for the fucking phone call, sorry, from the anaesthetist from the I'm, hospital, I'm, which was unscheduled, I'm unplanned for. And we don't do these things in the evening because this is why. No, while well, she's then going and having seizures and I'm having to then manage that and manage airways and the risks around all of that. That's why we don't do those sort of things, or we have another yeah. staff member or something else around, so we try well, and reduce the risk. So, you do certain things when my oh, support works. A bit frustrated. Here. I'm really glad about your recover. We didn't have to apply ASMs, any seizure medications this so time. Am I. That's a great, that's a win, that's a capital thing. Because as you can see, and I'll show you one more time, that's her, this is that's the video continuing to run. She's gone into yet another tonic clonic seizure this time, rolling to the left. So, I, I think the count's I up to six absence. or seven. Six or seven tonic-clonic seizures already going on during this. Because I caught myself, right. like, sort of standing in a position of inaction. And I yep. think that's why I struggled with the um, opening of the... On Danzatron medication, the, the wafer. Thing. Yeah. And then, when I was... I remember facing this way. Right. And Cause you're when I was rolling. Frozen, yeah. I, I was aware. Okay. And I was just trying to make noise. Now, Diane, if you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Diane does have this very complex chromosomal disorder, 22Q11.2 deletion syndrome. It's a micro deletion of the long arm of the 22nd chromosome. We have 23 chromosomes, pairs, so 46 in total, obviously. Um, that 22nd chromosome, nice when we have this micro deletion, it means that we're missing a collection of genes, anywhere between 40 and 60 genes. Genes are the building blocks. If As in the DNA of that's how our body operates. It's very, very necessary. And unfortunately, when you're missing anywhere between 40 to 60 genes, or they're defective, well, that means like, things don't work the way they're meant I'm, to work. I'm like 
on the next arm next to Down syndrome. So they're on the 21st. Very much parallel and I'm to on that, the yeah. 22nd. Indeed. Now, with that condition of um, 22Q11.2 deletion syndrome, there's about 180, 185 different symptoms, signs, and indicators, things that are affected. It's an umbrella term. This is why Don's got autism, ADHD, OCD, the Tourette's, which has been really off the charts today it, it really has you've also had the anxiety and fear which is representative of 22q you've had the cardiac I don't events like Halloween, guys. cardiac like is massive Halloween because of 22q me. you don't have to have congenital heart disease where things aren't no, correctly you formed you can it. still have other things but basically like it's Halloween too, yeah. so like my anxiety is high because. And you pointed that out today stuff, because you've seen some of the spooky I things. Oh, we went to Bunnings and like, you saw skeletons yeah. and things. It's like, oh, I don't like that. Like guys, it's not it's not the minor, milder things. It's, it's the gory really, stuff. Really, really gory stuff. Yeah. It makes me like fearful, mm. and I know that might sound silly to other adults, but like, <clears> it's just it's inbuilt because of my condition, and as a kid, it was terrible. Yep. like really intense and very difficult for my mum and I to work through because it's not something you can eliminate. Or rationalise out of as yes. well. And it's, that's the thing, it's a, a known key issue, high levels of fear and anxiety with 22Q. Like if you've met one person with 22Q, you've only met yeah. one person. So the things, signs and symptoms that Diane has, though very Ooh. complicated and complex, may not be the same as the next person that you come across. It is a spectrum, just like autism spectrum disorder. Diane is autistic. She is ADHD, like I said. But everybody can appear slightly different with different subsets of conditions. Now, she does have a GI-related issue, gastroparesis. That's part of the issue here. The electrolyte imbalance throws her body out of whack. It's a chemistry set, our body, and her body gets really out of whack because of the dysmotility. Things don't move. The dysphagia, the GERD, oh, the throwing up, which is part of this. That's it. what also happened night to clear out my bowels this week because um, I know that sounds terrible. No, but no, like, but you're starting to now remember. Crap. and my whole GI tract is mm -hmm. paralyzing, and um, <clears throat> I have to take like if, if industrial a normal person strength took, medications took to stuff. What I take, the shit out, literally. you would be like terrible. Yeah. Whereas for me, it's just clearing me out but did you just but see just in her medicine. recall just in oh i i had this that was days oh, that's, ago that's why it's called this is what pre ecto is is what's happening in the pre because with your seizure becoming up days it's one of those medications where it's not a medication like for for migraines where you take it in the moment and it no. works it's a build up medication correct so <clears> if you are taking things out of your system, flushing them out, you don't your, maintain your or achieve down. a therapeutic level. Yeah. And Diane's already at a very low level, which is sub therapeutic anyway. Because I can't. The whole GI tract level. stuff totally throws us into a whack. So we try and balance out that with additional medications, which is hard to tell when we can't do blood tests ourselves to find out yeah. what the levels are. We also have to counterbalance the electrolytes as we go along and other and vitamins I and supplements. Done that. Correct, you have it. My so you dad. can see the contributors. Now, That's this is why goal. I'm also saying to Diane, I knew things were about to happen because this is our ability to read the triggers. And that's why I've said she's on a DEFCON 3 or 4. We use it a little bit like the military nuclear stage. You know, DEFCON 5, everything goes out. Well, she's hit DEFCON 5 today. Massive, multiple, tonic, clonic seizures. When you're having multiple, okay, one after another after another, status epileptus, okay? So it's not just a singular seizure event. Okay, on we go on the day. This is multiple seizures. I'm making sure that I'm giving her a certain amount of medications to try and obviously get on top of that so that they don't reoccur, get worse, or continue past that. She's had hundreds of seizures in the course of a day before. Okay, so it's not an easy thing. It's not a nice thing to actually deal with, and that's why we use medications. I didn't have to apply the ASM, the midazolam, this time. Luckily, we step things up. We stage things in a progression that we don't give you too much medication. Otherwise, you'd be wiped out and you'd be sleeping again for another 24 hours. Very hard to balance our sleep in here. Now, I also mentioned part of 22Q, there's a whole range of other things. She's got this whole subluxion and loosey-goosey joints. That's why she's a dancer, professional this dancer. Shoulder. Your right shoulder popped out. I had to pop it in during your seizures. Did I you hope, feel that? I hope it's in. She's had a know. full anterior subluxion of this the glenohumeral humeral joint. Is it right. This one we're doing That's it? your yes. right one with a Hillman so sack injury, which one, is a break of the actual yeah. cup that actually supports Dodgy. it. So that was done, your back, back was sore, your neck's good. got a CCI, which is common also with 22Q patients, cervical, cranial sur instability. You got a lot of things going on, my Not girlfriend. To Not to deal with. Now, Google is set up with that our automation. It, You've already taken that. Okay. So I'm going to restage your medication throughout the rest of the night. I've brought them all forward early because of the situation or yeah. what's going on that to was make sure you're medicated. To remind me of what I just talked. 
Exactly. And I've also given you the next set, the CBD to help with the pain, inflammation, the nausea. But I've given you an extra gabapentin because the pain's going to be quite high. Uh, my, I've still got a headache. <clears throat> right. Now, I've given you a Panadol Osteo. That will kick in probably in the next 15 minutes. If not, I'll give and you some. And a gabapentin because my neck is... Yeah, neurofin like... maybe to help ibuprofen. But we don't give too much ibuprofen. And Diane's well, limited on have... what she can have because of the allergy. She had an anaphylaxis reaction not so long ago, less than a week ago. Just over. From Nutella. nuts, from Nutella. Mm, so she's so now has a nut allergy. Kind of nuts I'm allergic to, I need to Many medications she's also allergic to. So she can't take it. any opioids, codeine, all those sort of things. But I might take a neurofen. Neurofen, ibuprofen. Yeah, yeah. neurofen, yep. ibuprofen. We That's get right. the cheap brand. Yeah. But, yeah. Understand too, and this is why we share the videos. Remember, first of all, we're not medical professionals, so we're not here to give you information on what to do. This, this is for is your own me. entertainment purposes. This is for your Diane's journey. Your situation might be different. Correct. You need to speak Go see your, doctors, your own primary care physician or a specialist. However, um, there are a lot of commonalities and similarities, and yeah. we're open to discussions, and you can Modern use the comments below to have those conversations. Too. Absolutely. Um, what was I about to say? I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, sure. that's what I meant, autism. Part of the autism side of things, there's issues and difficulties with communication. There are difficulties with um, interception, understanding your own internal yeah. states. I don't what's focus sore? on what's sore. Why is it sore? On. Do I need to tell someone I it's sore? Think. Yeah, you need to tell me that you're about to have a seizure, please. I was too Can't focused do. on editing and getting that yep. done, and then I had to get throwing my in next high pain to tolerance, alexithymia, all these I'm other things. I'm focused on tasks. ADHD mind is going off on all these different tasks of things yes. that she needs to do, except for the one yes. going, oh, feeling sick. I've got a headache. I've had some bowel issues this week. I've had it my was sleep. Very quick. Matt said there's a risk of a Did seizure. You see how... Okay, go back to before I took these. I, it you came saw on quickly. Me. It did. I know you did. I seemed fine, yeah. right? With this, and I wish we had the camera on during the car, the Tourette's was full on today. Now, yeah, Diane does was. have Tourette's. Apologies also in advance. Um, Sorry for coprolalia, a lot. which is inappropriate language, can't be controlled. It's a neurological thing. Just swears like a trucker or a sailor. But it just it's happens. Not my norm. Apraxia, where she might also show inappropriate um, indicators, uh, may also come into being as well. So it's too much. Someone's decided to bang. Hey, buddy, the bang will right, hopefully stop. Know. Sorry, I've just had to go out and investigate it's while the right. assholes underneath us decide that they want to fucking bang their doors. We've got trolls it's underneath right. us who are being evicted. They'll be kicked out it's very shortly. Okay. They've been to court, so they're trying to deal with that crap. Yeah. But in the meantime, what I'm trying to deal with a medical emergency. We've got people who just want to play stupid fucking games. And I've got a so they want to keep going. We'll call now. the cops. I have no problems with that. Anyway, we're going to wrap up where the video is. Guys, thank you so much Thanks for being for here being during this journey, providing me. that support. Thumbs up for Look, the effort that Diane goes. the support overall, guys. You know, so many of you stuck with me through thick and thin. And yeah. I really, really appreciate, appreciate it. That. Because, you know, I really want to give you my best. And I can't sometimes do that. But you stick around. And yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so, so don't forget to send that support through the comments. Love to hear from your ideas, suggestions. As usual, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in another episode. Hopefully not one that's a medical freaking jammer. Hopefully no, it's something pleasant, doing shopping, doing something one. interesting, doing some art. I'm trying to show you We're hoping to do some art. That'll not tonight, not only tonight, tomorrow. Night, but on the weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.